get it? Who's this guy? Who's <laughs> being filmed? This is Pete McCallan. How are you? How are you doing, Pete? How's it going? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. I had to tiptoe to get up to your height. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> here we go. So we'll have a wee look at the studio here. But then, there he is. There's the man. Hello. Mr. Hutchison. Very good. Yeah, I good think. Um, <laughs> so we're here in Glowworm Studios with Ian Hutchison. Do you want to wave? Hi there. Hey, and Pete McAllen. Hello. So do you want to tell us a wee bit about what you've been up to? Yeah. So um, we're recording my second studio album, and we're on I don't know what day now. <laughs> <laughs> day something over ten, definitely over twenty, probably. Like day twenty one, I you, think. We're oh, up, you're, yeah, you're on it. Um, it could be. It's all a blur now. Um, <laughs> We're at the end of a long day of mixing. Ian's been working really hard and I've just been sitting here listening. Um, it's been going well. Mm -hmm. um, really, really enjoyed working together. And okay. um, the songs are coming alive and we're kind of making sure that they sound amazing. So Pete, where are you from? Do you want to tell us I am about from your... Cambridge. Um, well, I live in Cambridge now. Um, I go to a church called Cambridge Community Church, C3, and I'm the worship pastor there. And in my spare time, I record music. Great. And Ian, what, what's your day job here at Glowworm? Um, How would you describe yourself? I guess I would describe myself as a producer and sound engineer. Um, so my day job is in here recording, mixing albums and kind of songs for folks. Um, also do a bit of work as a musician in the studio and out the studio as well. So, so both of you, um, for people who maybe wouldn't know the process of recording, like, what is the process? What's the difference between tracking mixing, mastering, like wow. just in a nutshell. Great. Well, so like with Pete's album, what we've done, the tracking process is the process of getting everybody who's going to play on the album recorded. So we start with drums and then we add a bass and then Pete and I spent a while adding uh, pianos and guitars and vocals and um, synths, everything like that. And everything gets its own track, which means you can pull up a fader on the desk and hear just that one thing on its own. Um, and so that's the tracking process. When that's all done, then we mix, which is when we blend the balance of all the instruments. Um, we add effects, we add compression, which makes it sound kind of punchier and uh, more like a kind of commercial sounding track that you would expect to hear. So. And then mastering, what, what, what's that? <laughs> mastering. What it's the dark mastering? Oh, it's the dark. No one knows. <laughs> the what question, is mastering? Isn't it? It's something you pay money for. <laughs> that's <you> know, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically about getting somebody with an objective uh, standpoint who's not. Um, worked on the project up to that point who's going to listen with different ears in a different room and make a kind of a final judgment call about the overall frequency balance of the tracks, make sure the bass isn't too boomy or make sure it's there's enough low end the high end is nice and kind of sparkly but not too bright and then they're also matching the levels of the tracks so getting the volume kind of pumped up a bit so it's nice and loud when you turn on the, the track and make sure that each of the tracks sounds consistent on the album so nice so what, uh, working on this album, what's been your favourite track, both of you? Like, oh, if you could choose wow. one. That is really, really hard. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of go through cycles when you're recording an album. Of like, yeah. oh, I like this one. Then you, you finish and you think, actually, I like that mm -hmm. one. Um, I think, for me, it's always about the song that surprises you on the album. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really pleased with the song called The Unexplained, mm. um, which is probably going to be the first track on the album. Um, I'm really pleased with the way it, the intensity of it um, so I really love that and then the other track that I've been really pleasantly surprised with is a song called Mesmerise mm. um, and we were just in the moment of recording it and it, and just really sensed the presence of God on it and just there were just moments in that where it was just like oh wow I think we're yeah. touching something really delicate and special here yeah. um, so but it's, I'll probably say a different song tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure, well, I was going to say Mesmerised actually as, as a standout for me. Uh -huh. um, and I think probably Caught in the Depths, oh, yeah. which we mixed earlier today, is one of my favourites as well. Um, and Vulnerability. I knew well. you were going to say there that. You know, that's my other favourite, I would yeah. say. But I mean, I'm the same. It's like every day you're like, oh, this is a good one. So, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And when can we expect the album out, Pete? Um, I haven't formally set a deadline, um, but we're looking at kind of May, June, t 
time next year, 2017. Nice. And are you thinking about coming up to Scotland to do a live show? I would love to come up to Scotland. In fact, I've been talking to someone already about it, and we've had a few chats, so I would love to be up here. Um, you know I would. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you look tired after a long day, <laughs> we <are>. so <laughs> we'll let you get back to it. Thanks very much, guys, no for the interview. Thanks so Cheers. much. Cheerio. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. Can you feel it?